Students Everywhere. Hello everyone. Today you will make a multiplication table and then you will use it to discover some multiplication patterns. You must keep this multiplication table safe so that you can use it in future lessons. You will also describe and complete geometric patterns. Activity 1. You are going to make a multiplication table that looks like this. List the numbers from 1 to 10 on the side. List the numbers from 1 to 10 on the top. Show the multiplication sign in the top left hand corner. Now you can fill in your multiplication table. Let's fill one block in together. Choose a block on your multiplication table. Find the number that's in the same row as this block. 4. Find the number that's in the same column as this block. 5. Now multiply the two numbers together. 4 times 5 is 20. So the number that goes in that block is 20. Fill in all the other blocks in the same way. Once you have filled in all the other blocks, your completed table should look like this. Activity 2. Now you are going to use your multiplication table to read the numbers along the row labelled 3. Here is the row labelled 3. Let's read the numbers together. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Look at the pattern that has formed. Describe this pattern. We can describe this pattern by saying that the numbers get bigger by 3 every time. Now use your multiplication table to read the numbers down the column labelled 3. Here is the column labelled 3. Let's read the numbers together. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Look at the pattern that has formed. Describe this pattern. We can describe this pattern by saying that the numbers get bigger by 3. Do you see that the pattern formed in the column labelled 3 and the row labelled 3 is exactly the same? Choose another number. Read the numbers along the row of that number you have chosen. Describe this pattern. Then read the numbers down the column of the same number. Describe this pattern. Practice doing this with a few different numbers. Activity 3. Look at this pattern. Let's describe this pattern. The whole pattern is in a square. This square is divided into four smaller squares. In each small square, there is a line going from one corner to the corner on the other side. And there is a dot in the outside corners. Let's complete this pattern. We need to draw a line from the one corner to the opposite corner and draw a dot on the outside corner. Here is another pattern. 
Complete this pattern by filling in the empty square. There should be a line from the one corner to the other corner. There should be a white circle in the top right hand corner. And there should be a black square in the bottom left hand corner. Now you make your own pattern like this. Start by drawing a large square and then divide that large square into four smaller squares. Enjoy!